Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it, and when the head waiter tasted the water that had become the wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew. The head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one, but you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. After this, he and his mother, his brothers, and his disciples went down to Capernaum and stayed there only a few days. And now we can take a few minutes and ponder and uh, share your insights on the scripture. This is one of those great readings, you know, it's, it's like you read it and there's some obvious key points in this reading, but then there's like these big gaps, like who's wedding? You know, like if Mary and Jesus were there, there must have been somebody pretty important or in the family. And I had this discussion with a friend of mine, most of you know him, Bruce, he's the altar server here. And uh, we were talking, I said, yeah, when people have questions, I always say, I have questions, like whose wedding was it? And why did you leave so early? You could have healed all those people with leprosy, you know. Um, and the other one on this one that strikes me is um, when, Jesus, when Mary approaches Jesus, Jesus kind of like rebuts his mother, you know. And, and she doesn't even think about it and turns to the people and said, do whatever he tells you. Boy, talk about faith. Just such great faith, Mary. Oh. Anyway, I, I can't keep talking, so here we go. So I'm not going to say too many things because this would mostly come from Father Lambert from Bible study class, but I remember this story very well from uh, when Jesus performed these signs in the Gospel of John. And I just, I think what really strikes me as we go into Lent tomorrow is you wouldn't know it because I'm always walking around with a smile on my face all the time. But lately, it's just been a very tough time in the loneliness department. And I think a lot of people feel that way since we haven't been around everyone that we want to be with or meet new people that we want to meet. Or it's just been a really hard time just being isolated from each other. So one thing that strikes me about this reading that I love is it's a reminder that Jesus came to form a covenant with with, you know, he, he came to, I'm going to say this wrong, but he came to form a covenant to say that he is here for all people, that God is for all people, that this is, you know, we should believe in God, that, um, I'm, I'm losing my thoughts. Uh, I had a lot of thoughts I wanted to say. Um, ah, 
but <laughs> um, he just he basically came to change the pillars of the Jewish tradition, not in a bad way, but to just make God available for everyone to know that we're not alone, that God is always with us, and I'm going to carry those thoughts with me into Lent this year that Jesus came for us, he died for us, and it was just really great to see that he can perform these signs that other people cannot necessarily do without the Holy Spirit, of course, and that he, he will always be there for us even when we feel like we're alone. Thank you for sharing. Very good. Anybody else? I was, I'm just struck by like the honor your mother and father kind of part of it. You know, that like, I think as much as Mary had faith, she knew because if she asked something of Jesus, <laughs> he did it. <laughs> and I, I think that that's very true, that, that this kind of, um, it wasn't the time he was supposed to do it. He, that wasn't the plan. But his mom asked him to do something, and so he stepped up. <laughs> and I just, I think that that's, it shows the relationship, it shows the whole idea that even he was following the Ten Commandments, you know, like, like he's God, but when he says to honor your mother and father, he means it. Thank you. Anybody else? Imagine how good that wine was. Like, I can't even imagine how good that was. And how do you change water to wine? I think people have been trying that for decades, I bet, right? Oh. And when you think about changing water to wine, it's just like, look who was there for the disciples. You got Andrew, Peter, Nathaniel and Philip, and they were fishermen, right? So all of a sudden, Jesus' first miracle is changing water into wine. And these fishermen know water. You know, it's like fishermen just know. They know the water, they know the waves, they know the wind, they know the temperature. That must have, they just must have had their unbelievable, you know. And then to drink it, as Cheryl would say, you know, it's like, oh. Amazing. I hate taking up all the time. But somebody says something and my mind and heart goes zzzz. It was one other thing that I saw in looking at this and, and that said, uh, look at what Mary does. She doesn't tell him what to do. She doesn't tell him how to do it. She tells him the problem, gives it to him. And along with that was, you know, well, hey, what, what can we do and, you know, what can we learn from Mary in that respect? Good challenge. Boom. So two things that were said that um, hit me. First, covenant. And second, whose wedding was it? So yes, Jesus did come for a covenant. And we hear the expression that Jesus uh, made a marriage of God and mankind. And that covenant is what we have with the Lord. And in a special way at being at a wedding, it also, when we teach marriage prep, we talk about how Jesus elevated the natural marriage, the one that we see in Genesis with Adam and Eve, and with Jesus' presence at that wedding, the covenant between all of mankind, but also in a special way making the marriage between that man and woman uh, a sacramental marriage. Jesus was a part of that wedding, wanted to be a part of their lives, like he wants to be for all of us. 
generally and specifically in sacramental marriage of the church. So both covenant and whose wedding? All. It's all of mankind and it's all sacramental weddings. Thank you, Deacon. One more minute. Okay, well thank you everybody for sharing your thoughts on the uh, gospel reading tonight and we'll move to Psalm by Linda. Psalm 25 of David. In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame. But shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. Let us pray for the needs of the church, our community, our country, and the world. For all our religious and political leaders, may God's wisdom be a light to each of them, that they may have the responsibility in our church and our society so that their decisions are made for the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For our dear departed ones, and especially our, our friend, our dear friend, Father Lambert's sister, Madeline, who passed this past week. We pray uh, that the Lord grant them his divine mercy and welcome them into his kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that are sick, including those that are on the prayer list, St. Martha and St. Mary Parish, those that are on all, on all of our prayer lists, and all, all with COVID, they may grow in, their, in faith and hope and that the Lord may attend to each of them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Adam, a member of KP class of 2020, injured uh, in a, a, a um, serious uh, motorbike injury a few weeks ago, um, has been making progress. We, we have thanks for the progress and the medical help so far. We pray for full healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord for Sheely, a member of the KP class of 2020, who had a serious uh, traumatic injury to her dominant arm, we pray for uh, healing and nerve regeneration, especially in her hand. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
And for AJ, uh, Fian, uh, Bishop Fian uh, High School senior on uh, hockey player who is involved in a, a hockey injury, a serious hockey injury a few weeks back and, again, and um, a serious spinal injury. And we thanks for the extra uh, medical attention he's been getting and we pray for full healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For a good friend of our, our friend, Father Bill Schmidt, his name's Mike Walsh, who's had COVID, been battling serious COVID uh, for a number of weeks now, has been starting to make some uh, progress. We pray for full healing. We pray to the Lord. For all those that are suffering in, in body, mind, and spirit, Blessed Mother may visit them Give them comfort and surprise them with joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, yeah. Uh, Let us pray, pray for all the young people in the world. May God watch over each of them and guide them now and always. We pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, yeah. With great thanks for the new therapies and vaccines and the rollout of the vaccines. Let us pray for healing of the world from the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all healthcare uh, workers, uh, police, fire, first responders, those helping uh, all of us, the Lord give them extra peace, joy, love, compassion, strength, and good health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear May our faith, hope, and love in the Lord grow. May he share, and uh, may he help us to share his love with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our At this point now, we open it up to each of you to offer any prayer intentions you may have. I'd like to pray for a colleague, um, Paul Smith, who is going to have a domo um, surgery, and that the Lord heals him right on the spot. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Michelle and Paul Adams, who is the prayer of the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to say a prayer for all those suffering in solitude or being alone, and may the love of God enter their hearts, minds, soul, and spirit, and lift them up to new life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We add in prayers for Lynette, Anne, Mary Beth, Tony, Diane, Sue, and Corrine for full healing. And also for, we pray for Michelle and Isaiah. We pray to the Lord. Lord. At this point, we pray on intentions that you may have online. We, uh, you can offer your intentions now.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you that you hear our prayers. We ask that you grant them in accordance with your will for our lives. We make these requests to your Son and our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. the luminous mysteries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. In the Holy Spirit, the Holy, Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the, the communion, communion of saints, saints, the, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the, the resurrection of the body, and, and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in faith, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in hope, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in love, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. first luminous mystery, the baptism of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we offer you this first decade in honor of your baptism. And we ask of you through this mystery and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, the grace to fulfill our baptismal promises. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus arrived from Galilee and came to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
John tried to dissuade him saying, why do you come to me? I am the one who needs to be baptized by you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. But Jesus said to him in reply, for the present, let it be thus. It is proper for us to do this, to fulfill all that righteousness demands. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Then Jesus acquiesced. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. After Jesus had been baptized, as he came up from the water, the heavens were open. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And he beheld the Spirit of God descending like a dove and aligning on him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And a voice came down from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. These words recall the words of the Lord spoken by the prophet Isaiah about the suffering servant. This is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one whom, uh, in whom I delight. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I will put my spirit in him, and he will bring justice to the nations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. In his law, the crosslands will place their hope. This is what the Lord says. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of your mercy. Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The second luminous mystery, Christ's self-manifestation at the wedding of Cana. 
Lord Jesus, we offer you this second decade to honor your self-manifestation at the wedding feast of Cana. And we ask of you through this mystery and through Mary's intercession, the willingness to do whatever you say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding feast at Cana in Galilee. The mother of Jesus was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the wine was exhausted, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus responded, Woman, what concern is this to us? My hour has not yet come. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Standing nearby, there were six stone water jugs of the type used for Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus instructed the servants, fill the jars with water. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When they had filled them to the brim, he ordered them, now just draw some out and take it to the chief steward. And they did so. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the chief steward had tasted the water that had become wine, he did not know where it came from, although the servants who had drawn it knew the, where the water came from. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. The chief steward called over the, to the bridegroom and said, Everyone serves the choice wine first, and then an inferior vintage when the guests have had too much to drink. However, you have saved the best wine until now. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Jesus performed this, his first of his signs, at Cana in Galilee, therefore revealing his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, protect and save the unborn.
the third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom. Lord Jesus, we offer you this third decade to honor your proclamation of the kingdom of God. And we ask of you through this mystery and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, the pardon of all our sins. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Jesus said, the time of fulfillment has arrived and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Later, he gave them the eight Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice, for they will have their fill. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are the merciful, for they will obtain mercy. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, God, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of justice, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and utter all kinds of calamities against you for my sake. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Christ, and save the end. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Lord Jesus, we offer you this fourth decade to honor your transfiguration, and we ask of you, through this mystery and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, the firm desire to become new persons. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Six days later, Jesus took Peter and James and his brother John with him and led them up a high mountain by themselves. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And in their presence he was transfigured. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, conversing with him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. While he was speaking, suddenly a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were greatly frightened. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Stand up, and do not be frightened. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one, but only Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, Save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, protect and save the unborn. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. 
Lord Jesus, we offer you this fifth decade to honor the mystery of the institution of the Eucharist. And we ask of you through this mystery and through the intercession of your Holy Mother, the desire to achieve active participation at every mass. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is day our daily bread. Hear us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread arrived, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at table along with the apostles. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For I tell you that from this moment on, I shall never eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Then he took the cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. For I tell you that from this moment I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Then he took bread, and after giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which will be given for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Do this in memory of me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which will be poured out for you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in need of thy mercy. Jesus, protect and save me, O Lord.
Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. The Memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the blessed Virgin Mary, we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord, amen. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, and may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Immaculate Heart of Mary. Saint Joseph. Saint Martha. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you everyone for attending this evening. What a beautiful, uh, beautiful evening. Um, hope it was a blessing for each of you. Certainly is a, 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 a big blessing here. And um, we're seeing a lot more people uh, joining online. Uh, we've been getting more people here too, and that's outstanding. Uh, if you have any friends, or, you know, relatives, anyone that may be interested, feel free to uh, either invite them here or share the link. We've got people from uh, a bunch of states uh, joining us. Uh, um, and uh, so, so that, that's outstanding. Uh, I was just talking with a friend a couple hours ago. I was giving him an update on this and then heard his wife was going through uh, some stuff and she actually was on the prayer list tonight. So. Uh, um, and please, uh, you know, keep praying for everyone. Uh, everyone here, uh, please, everyone online, uh, pray for each other. Uh, pray for all, uh, all those around us. We certainly, um, we certainly can use the help, and uh, we know who provides help, and that's uh, an amazing blessing that we're thankful uh, to God for. Um, we're excited about our uh, the upcoming Lenten plans. Can't believe Ash Wednesday tomorrow. Um, so, what we uh, mentioned early on, we'll be meeting uh, uh, every Tuesday, except uh, one week there'll be the Mission Week. We'll uh, let you know uh, exactly which week. It's in mid March at some point. And uh, so, that'll be great. Um, one thing that we uh, mentioned a little bit last time is if you're looking at things to add to your Lenten plan, um, 
A friend of mine once said, Chris, she said, uh, if you're thinking of giving up dark chocolate, don't give up dark chocolate. It's a health food. Um, maybe add some things to your uh, uh, plan. And uh, certainly, if, uh, if you'd like to join uh, each week, that's an awesome blessing. Uh, if you're looking at ways to pray the rosary more, that's, that's outstanding. Um, sometimes, too, I even like to just, uh, you know, I might just, you know, pull it up on the iPhone. And uh, t- today we had the rosary, the scriptural rosary, too. So you had the, the scripture lines in there. And uh, I like that. I, I think we'll be doing that more. Um, but sometimes I'll listen. You can just, if you got an iPhone, you know, hey, Siri, uh, please give me, uh, play the Tuesday rosary with scripture. And it gives you good choices. Um, some other things too that you can look at is uh, is oh we've got uh, we have we, we've been having an awesome Bible study this year. Uh, Father Lambert uh, runs the Bible study. People want to still uh, join in. Uh, they they run it on Zoom. Uh, they're studying the uh, Gospel of Mark, and you can contact uh, Lynn, uh, uh, Linda Olson. Uh, you can find her on the uh, um, parish website. And so it's, uh, it's really awesome, right? Love it. And so, um, so anyway, so some things there, and, uh, and then we'll come back, and uh, you can join us at the Mission Week. And at this point, we're um, it's a blessing that we can uh, call our dear friend Father Lambert up uh, for some final comments and uh, and, a, and a and a final blessing for all of us. It is always a blessing to gather here and pray together and also with those who are praying with us online. And especially today, as we, tomorrow, as you cannot see the colors, the digital colors are already changed. The purpose, the time of uh, Lance is uh, coming the time of uh, prayer, time of uh, almsgiving, time of uh, some sacrifices, and time of uh, repentance, time of fasting. But I like uh, the disciples of Jesus who were not fast fighting, fasting. And when the Pharisees asked them, why, ask Jesus, why do you? Your disciples do not fast. I like the response Jesus said. So, when you go to a wedding, if the bridegroom is there, are you going to fast? No, because the bridegroom is there. So this is give answer to the, prayer, the question that opened this prayer today, whose wedding was? Jesus himself presented himself as the bridegroom. Jesus is our bridegroom and the church is the bride. So, and in the church, Jesus gave that sacrifice for himself. But at the beginning, he changed the water into wine. And that he said that the time was not yet come. The time, it will be the time of the cross. The way Jesus will offer himself as a blemished sacrifice, and he will sign a new and eternal covenant through his blood. So, the wine that Jesus transformed, water he transformed to the wine at the beginning of his mission, as the first sign, the same wine, today we transform it into the blood of Christ when we celebrate the Holy Eucharist. So there is that mystery from from water to wine and wine to the blood of Jesus. And that blood united us together as a member of new and eternal covenant. And we celebrate that covenant every time we offer the Holy Eucharist. But all that became also possible because of Mary Thanks, Mary, who accompany 
Mary did not only give birth, gave birth to Jesus, but he introduced him through his mission, asking him, they, they have no wine. So Mary, she's there always to intercede for us. And, and uh, Jesus could not say no to his mom. And I like the hey Mary when we say that, but we ask Mary to intercede for us, not only in this time we are alive, but also in the moment of death. So that a powerful prayer is asking Mary to intercede for us to his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are going to live in this time of uh, Lent to follow Jesus till he will be crucified and raised from the dead. But before that, today is a Mardi Gras. His Mardi Gras is a Mardi of joy. That is why Jesus changed water into wine. It is also a sign of uh, messianic time, the time of abundance that people can drink without paying nothing. So when we are in God, we are joyful people. We cannot, we'll never lose the joy that came from the cross, the victory that Jesus won for us on the cross. And so this is a time of joy, Mardi Gras. And also even Lent, we will never lose the joy of being a Christian because even though we are sinner, but we are redeemed sinners. Jesus died and rose from us, from the dead, to unite us. And myself this time is very, very unique as my beloved sister will be buried this Saturday, but uh, beyond the, the sorrowful of separation, we, still to, we are still together in that unity of saints because that is the church. That is what Jesus won for us. And we will never, I can assure you that, I will never lose my joy of being a priest, being a disciple of Jesus. Because what Jesus won for us on the cross, it is forever. Not only for this world, and also for the world to come. So we are going to get into this time of uh, Lent, time of repentance, but also time of prayer, but time of joy. Because the bridegroom is with us. That's why I usually say, Father Love doesn't fast, because I consider that the bridegroom is with me. So if the bridegroom is with me, so let us enjoy life. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you.